Okay, so let's work on example 3.13 from the OpenStax textbook. Let's read the problem. A cheetah waits in hiding behind a bush. The cheetah spots a gazelle running past at 10 meters per second. At the instant the gazelle passes the cheetah, the cheetah ac accelerates from rest at 4 meters per second squared to catch the gazelle. In part A, we want to know how long does it take the cheetah to catch the gazelle. And in part B, what is the displacement of the gazelle and the cheetah? Okay, so that's a lot. Um, let's first just draw a picture. Let's follow our same procedure as we always do. Um, we don't need to get you know, stressed out about the problem yet. Let's draw a picture, write down our knowns and unknowns, define a coordinate system, and from there we can um, then think about how we're going to solve the problem. Okay, so the first thing we want to do is draw a picture and define a coordinate system. So I'm just going to set um, x equals 0 to be at one location and then draw kind of a, a nice plus x axis here. So I'm going to just define a direction and I'm going to say this location here is x equals 0 and now let's take a closer look at the problem. So we have a cheetah, maybe I'll use orange for the cheetah. All right, we have a cheetah that's just say waiting at x equals 0. It's just at rest sitting there behind the bush and then it spots a gazelle running past at some speed and at the instant the gazelle passes the cheetah, the cheetah accelerates. So we want to draw the gazelle, maybe I'll make that a purple gazelle, let's see. The gazelle is at exactly the same starting location as the cheetah, right, because at the instant the gazelle passes the cheetah, that's when the cheetah starts moving. All right, so we're just trying to look at this problem and interpret it and write in our knowns and unknowns and draw a nice picture. All right, so the gazelle is running past at 10 meters per second. So I have the gazelle, and let's say the initial velocity of the gazelle, so v sub 0, meaning the velocity at time equals 0 of the gazelle, so I'll just do a g, is equal to 10 meters per second. Okay. Um, the, it also says the cheetah accelerates from rest, so that indicates that the uh, initial velocity of the cheetah is equal to 0 meters per second. But it does say that the, accelerate, the cheetah is accelerating, so the acceleration of the cheetah is equal to 4 meters per second squared. Okay. It doesn't say anything about the gazelle accelerating, it just says it's running past at 10 meters per second. So we can interpret that to mean that the acceleration of the gazelle is equal to 0 meters per second. Okay, so we've, we've set up the problem. Um, we haven't uh, um, even thought about how we're going to solve it yet, but it's a good idea just to take your time, read the problem a few times, draw a picture, define a coordinate system, and set up all your knowns. Make sure we have a good picture of what's going on. All right, so this gazelle is running by, and then at the instant the gazelle passes the cheetah, the cheetah's going to start running. All right, but the cheetah is initially behind because it has zero velocity at the start, but it's going to catch up because it's accelerating, it's accelerating, it's accelerating, and eventually it'll catch up with that gazelle. Okay, so now we can think about what are they asking on this problem. All right, so in part A, they want to know how long does it take the cheetah to catch the gazelle. So they want to know the time to catch. Okay, so now we've identified our unknown, we've identified our knowns. Now we need to bring the conceptual understanding into the problem. Okay, um, there's two really important bits of conceptual understanding in this problem. One of them we've used before to solve problems, and one of them is new to this problem, so it'll be a good learning opportunity. The first thing we can note is that both the cheetah and the gazelle have constant acceleration. Right, so that's the first really important uh, piece of conceptual understanding. The gazelle has zero acceleration, which is a constant. The cheetah has four meters per second squared of acceleration, which is also a constant. Constant acceleration means we can use our constant acceleration kinematic equations, and those will be a useful tool to us. So anytime you see that, you should write down those four equations and think about using them in some way in solving the problem. Okay. But the other piece of conceptual understanding we have to bring in here is kind of a um, physics problem solving uh, concept that will be relevant to you and just something to add to your toolkit. 
right? So they want to know what is the time to catch for the cheetah to catch the gazelle. So we have to think about what happens in terms of our variables in this problem at the moment the cheetah catches the gazelle, right? At the moment the cheetah catches the gazelle, they're at the same position, right? That's all there is to it, right? So at time equals zero, for that, obviously they're at the same position at that moment, but the gazelle is running past. Right? A second later, the gazelle is way out here because it's moving at 10 meters per second, and the cheetah has barely started running. Right? So the cheetah is still way behind. But some time later, the gazelle is now here, and the cheetah has now caught up again. Right? So that's an important piece of kind of conceptual understanding to bring into this problem, that at the exact moment that the cheetah catches the gazelle, cheetah catches the gazelle when they're at the same position. When the, the x position of the cheetah is equal to the x position of the gazelle. So that's the important conceptual thing we have to bring into this problem. That's probably the trickiest part of this problem. Once we know that, that this is the equation we can use, all right, we can now come up with an equation for the position of the cheetah as a function of time. We can come up with an equation for the position of the gazelle as a function of time. We can then set them equal and figure out at what time they're at the same location. Okay, so for the cheetah, we have a cheetah which is initially moving at zero meters per second and is accelerating at four meters per second squared. And we wanna come up with an equation for the position of that cheetah as a function of time given constant acceleration, so it, it looks like a good one to use will be this equation, x is equal to x naught plus v naught t plus one half a t squared. All right, this is v naught cheetah, right, which is zero. So this is one of our kinematic equations, and we can use it to know the exact position of the cheetah at every moment in time, right? I know the initial position of the cheetah is zero, I know the initial velocity of the cheetah is zero, and so I have a pretty simple equation for the cheetah at all moments in time. This is one half our acceleration, which is four meters per second squared times time squared, or just two meters per second squared times squared. Okay, what about for the gazelle? The gazelle is moving at a constant velocity of 10 meters per second. So we can use the same equation x naught plus v naught gazelle t plus one half a t squared, but the acceleration of the gazelle is just zero, and the initial position of the, of the gazelle is zero. So the position of the gazelle as a function of time is just equal to its initial velocity of 10 meters per second times time. All right, so we have a relatively simple equation for the position of the gazelle at any moment in time. Right? The gazelle is just a linear curve the, if I plot the position as a function of the time of the gazelle, it's just increasing linearly, where the cheetah is initially not moving, and it's going to start moving slower and slower, but it's eventually going to catch up, and eventually it's going to get to where the gazelle is. And we want to find that exact location, right, where the cheetah and the gazelle are in the same location. So to do that, let's now use this equation that we came up with, and just set our two equations equal to each other. So I have two meters per second squared t squared is equal to 10 meters per second times t. And so I have two t squared equals 10 times t. I can cancel one of my t's and I can just divide by two and I have t is equal to five seconds. All right, so that's our answer to part A. That is the moment where the cheetah is gonna catch the gazelle exactly at time is equal to five seconds. It's that moment where they both have the same position. Okay. For part B, what is the displacement of the gazelle and the cheetah? Well, we have two formulas for one for the cheetah, one for the gazelle that tell us exactly the position of each at every moment in time. So for part B, if I want to know, let's just pick one of them, the position of the gazelle, that's equal to 10 meters per second times time, and we know the time we found it in part A, times five seconds, so that's equal to 50 meters. We could do the same thing for the gazelle, two times five squared is two times 25, or 50 meters. So they're both at exactly the same location at that moment in time. 
So that's a nice, fun, kind of classic physics problem.